Hello Android developers, welcome back. In this video we'll continue talking about our image view app we just created in a previous video. We're gonna go ahead and make our Apple image clickable so that uh, something happens when you click on it. And you may start asking yourself, well, how is that possible? I mean, yes, I understand that buttons can have uh, clickable events, uh, but, but just an image, an image view, how does that work? That's a very valid question and, um, and the reason why it's possible to, to attach an image view to an event listener so you can click and something happens is because, well, an image, it's a view. So is a button, so is an added text, text view, and so many UI components that we've talked about. So if an item or a component type is of type view, meaning that it inherits all of the uh, view class property, then that means you can also have the on event click listeners attached to them. So in this video, I, the reason why I'm actually making this video here is because I wanted to show you that everything that it's a view can be clickable. In fact, everything that you put on your screen, you can make it clickable. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what we have so far. Let's go to design here, the apple. Let's kind of make a little bit smaller, shall we? Let's go back here and actually say we want it to be 250 dp by 250 dp, just you know, to make it a little bit smaller. So let's make it like that. Let's take this apple a little bit. Uh, that's not what we want. Let's let's just move this a little bit here. Perfect. All right, we just moved things around. Nothing new, nothing uh, dramatic happening there. Okay, so we have an image view and we have a text view here. So what we want to do is to be able to click on this apple and then change the text here. So before we do it, let's go ahead and actually put nothing here in our text view so that it's empty. Go back, save, and go back to design, and it should be zero, nothing here. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to our main activity, that Java here. Let's go and grab our, our Apple view here, our image view. So the first thing we do, yes, you guessed it, private. It's type image view. That's the type, so enter. We're going to call Apple image. And the next is going to be private text view. We've seen that a few times now. We're going to call it show text view. So we set things up here. So we say Apple image. Again, we have to cast because again, to find view returns just the view. We want to make sure it's an image view. So find view by ID. Say r.id.image view. We didn't change to a different ID, just an image view, it's fine. So, and then we go to get the show text is equal to, it's a text view. Perfect, and we say, well, let's show text view. Let's copy and paste here. All right, so find view by ID, r.id, that text view, perfect. So we are able to get our IDs, our views. Now let's set our Apple image, which is an image view, to to be clickable. So Apple image dot set on click, enter, you say new view dot on click listener, enter, and our brace is there. Inside here, right click and go generate override methods. Actually, let me show you something here. You can just go say, right click, generate, you say implement methods, and there we go. This is a click listener, there we go, and there you have it. So you've seen this before, this is where we want then to take the show text, edit the text view, so copy that. I'm gonna go set text, we want it to be apple is good and save. Perfect. So let's run this. So go run. Okay, it's running now. And there it is. So if we click here, 
and there it is Apple is good great that's it for this video just go ahead and play around uh, you can put your own image here um, you can change the background color you can make this text here bigger and change the color to text and so forth just you know get into the habit of playing with uh, we've been learning that way you, you practice it's all about practice great see you in the next video